Hey everybody, good afternoon. You Lancey Peterson here, Ride with Peterson. Today, it is Thursday, October 27th, 2022. And the time is 4.43 p.m. You know, I was I was honored at a at a special breakfast this morning. It was a um, an event for the West Side Coalition. It's a collection of um, organizations that they're dedicated to um, easing, eliminating the problem of homelessness in Los Angeles, but specifically, mainly on the West Side of LA. And I was I was an honoree at that um, at that event this morning it was it was it was quite an experience and it was my first time on stage at a podium in a very long time um i did pretty good with my speech um i got there i got there 15 minutes late but it was okay um because my side locked up on me so bad of all mornings this morning and then i got up there and i was I was I was limping. I I tripped a little bit as I as I stepped on, and then as I stepped off stage. But um, I gave a brief five minute speech just to um, thank everyone for um, for for helping me save my life. Essentially, um, from what I can remember from the from the speech because they gave us a teleprompter and I gave them um, the notes that I was going to speak. So I, I said, you know, um, a long time ago at a bus stop, not too far from where we are right now, I was a bus operator and I was assaulted by, and by an angry, by an angry rider. Um, after that, I fell into a deep depression and as you can imagine, I didn't handle that situation um, well. Eventually, I lost my job. Then I lost my apartment. Then I lost my car. Then I had a stroke. When the pandemic began, and when it was time for me to be discharged from the hospital, I had no support from friends and family. Um, I was connected with a great social worker from LA County. From there, they were connected. They connected me to the people concern. The people concern connected me to Turning Point Interim Housing. At Turning Point, I received the, received the safety and the supportive services necessary so I could rebuild my life. Today I have a job, I have a car, I'm driving, I'm completely independent. And I am here because of you. You honor me today, but I honor you for helping me save my life. Every step I take is in honor to you. Thank you. That was my speech in a nutshell. Well, there was another reason why I wanted to be at that speech. Um, I am determined to get my parking space. I, 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 I look the laws, the procedures, everything is already there except for one small detail: the ability to pay for a single parking space. This thing should fly through, make it really easy. If they want to make, if the city of Los Angeles wants to make life just a little easier for its residents, who's willing to pay for it, I'm trying to get single space permits. Look, they already have preferential parking districts where you have to have a permit and you pay for the permit annually, but the whole neighborhood, the whole block has to, um, has to be on board with it. Well, I wanna take it a step further, just one more step further. I wanna create orange zone parking 
and I want it so I can pay for the parking space in front of my house. That's all I want. I'm willing to pay the city of Los Angeles money to pay for my parking spot in front of my house. That way, nobody else can take that spot but me. And if somebody else is in that spot, I have the right to tow that vehicle away. I know I can do it. Now, here's the deal. While I was at the event, before I was waiting for my chance to have my speech, I sat 20 feet away from a Los Angeles city council person. They told me there wouldn't be any, any council people from Los Angeles um, at these event, but there he was sitting right there. When it was time for me to give my speech, he was gone. He has a very busy day. He couldn't, um, he couldn't stay to, to, um, to listen to everybody else talking. But that gave me a, that gave me a glimmer of hope Gave me a tidbit of hope. That's that's my name. That's my that's my word now. Tidbit. Gave me a tidbit of hope that I will reach that city council person who will hear me out. I will give them my letter, and they will see how easy and simple it is, and they can add just one more little line to the L.A. municipal code that allows people to pay a small fortune for the parking spot in front of their homes. I think it's an awesome idea. And I know, I know I am not the only person in Los Angeles who wants to do this because you know what? Parking is out of control in LA. Hey, we got a lot of cars. We are the car capital of the world. And um, I'm trying to figure, why is it fair for me with only one car to have to walk all the way around the corner and on the far side of the other block to park my car in front of my place when there's a neighbor who is running an illegal business out of his house where he has a very long driveway and he can park all of his vehicles in his driveway. But what he does is he and his family, they take up all the par public parking spaces and then to add salt to the wound, they intentionally put their vehicles right in the spot where I am. They know I'm disabled. They know I'm walking down the street limping and, and whatnot. And I'm like, you know, every time I go home, it's always a wonder. Am I going to have a spot to park at? Will I be able to? Because, you know, the funny thing is. All the cars that are on the block, it's the same cars every day. Every we Everyone's just playing musical chairs. That's all it is. But we're all parking in the same. We're par parking different places. One day I'm at the far end of the block. One day I'm at my spot. One day I'm across the street. One day I got to park on the other side over here. But it's the same vehicles. And it shouldn't be that way. We should have courtesy on the street. And we say, hey, you know what? I'm not going to park in front of this neighbor's house because... That's my neighbor. They should have the space because they need that space for themselves. So I'm like, you know what? It's gotten to that point. I got to pay for the park. I got to pay for that parking spot. So um, I'm really hoping that somebody with real power in the city of Los Angeles will hear me out for a little less time than what it took for you to watch this video. I'm going to make this happen. It's going to happen. I have, I have that tidbit of faith. I do. I do. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, I'm going to do my best to make these videos every day because I need to. My goodness, I'm, I'm getting dark. I'm getting a tan. Who am I? Okay. Either that or something's wrong with this camera. But um, it's all right. You know, hey, I love, I love being black. So it's, it's all right, you know. All right, everybody, um, I will catch y'all on the next video. Take care.